Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Zero Care 101. And today we're going to talk about the habitat and where to put it. So, if you watched the previous videos for this series, you'll have known that your gerbil cage will have to be at least 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches and you'll have to place it in, in an area where it's safe for them to live because if not then they might die or get sick so what I recommend is you put it in an area something like this and make sure it's away from direct sunlight and the area of humidity is low or the humidity of the area is low one of those they're basically the same anyway um you put you have to put your gerbil's habitat in the area so it will be best suited for them to live there. And make sure the thing you, pooped a lot, huh? you put below your gerbil's cage is very supportive. And I recommend having like a little tray to put in your gerbil's cage since they like to kick out their bedding and that will make a mess on your floor if you don't use a tray. Or you could, and you could also use a placemat to cover up their cage or a uh, cloth so they also won't make a mess. And you could also, you could also put it on the floor, but also it has to be in a safe area. But I rather put it on the table or. A, another sturdy so uh, another sturdy area such as a bookshelf or the top of a drawer like this one so it will support it well or you could also use something like this black table here that's what Hammy's using so it'll support it also Make sure it's big enough to fit your gerbil's cage. And also this goes for other pets too. If you have a pet like a guinea pig or a rabbit, you'll need a bigger table because their cages are usually massive. And, um, sorry, that's Tammy's voice in the background. So, let's see what else. Oh yeah, make sure, also, I just remembered this, during, when you assemble your gerbil's cage, make sure you, you do it properly, and check that everything's sturdy enough, so that it won't break, and I recommend getting your gerbil a tank, so that will prevent any messes, and... Yeah, so I'm going to show you a few pictures, a few examples of good places to put your gerbil's cage in. Okay, those, so those are some photos of places you would want to put your gerbil cage. Similar areas like those shown in the photos. Yeah. And also, like I said, make sure it's out of direct sunlight and it's 
not very humid in the area. Also, make sure you, you put your gerbil cage in a living room area. And this goes for all pets except for dogs and cats and other pets that are out of cages so that if it does carry disease it won't go into the food your food or in the washroom or if especially if you're cleaning their habitat it's better to do it um in the living room area or possibly outside if the weather is right and yeah let's see what else is there in town oh yeah now i'm going to show you some fish that i got all right so these are some these are the fish we have right now plus a hamster who's not supposed to be in the video and here's carly if you notice she's changed to gold yeah there she is don't pee her and how many might pee and we also got some new fish so now we have 18 fish or 17 fish you have 18 see no 16 fish yeah 16 fish because i think one died no, you're not. And yeah, we got three tiger barbs. So you might think that they can't go with tropical community fish, but even though they're semi-aggressive, they can still be put with Daniel. I mean, with tropical fish. As long as they're pretty big and there's lots of them and not as much as the tiger barbs or else if there's too many or the, the other fish are too small or too weak, they'll get attacked and then they'll get, they might also get killed. And yeah, sorry about the annoying baby shark song. For betas, um, can put them with other tropical community fish or maybe other types of fish too. But they can't go with other betas since they'll fight. And goldfish, they can only go together. They can't be with any other types of fish. So I'm just doing it clip with Carly. She's swimming around. I'm swimming. I'm swimming around too. So, I'm goofy. If you're looking for what are you um, if you're thinking of buying tropical <laughs> community fish, I recommend getting Daniels and, and Guppy. What are you staring at, huh? Because they're a nice addition to aquarium. You could also get tetras. You could also get mollies, rasboras, and lots of other fish, plus a frozen hamster if you like. And I recommend also getting some catfish and algae eaters to help keep the tank clean. And you could also... And in a goldfish bowl, I mean, in a goldfish aquarium, especially if it's filtered, you also would want tank cleaners. Yummy. Although they might Yummy. fight. You wouldn't want a frozen hamster. And for betas, if they're in a, if they're in a tropical community aquarium that's filtered or another type of aquarium that's filtered. Oh no, she just ate fish food. Is she gonna die? No. And then, so, so, sorry, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and then, if they're 
trying to filter it, Clary. What, what was I gonna say again? Uh. Oh yeah, so betas will also need tank cleaners too if they're in a filtered aquarium along with other fish. Yeah, because that also helps keep their tank clean. And also, also when betas are in tropical community occurs. Make sure there's no other betas or else they'll fight and kill each and try to kill each other. So yeah. Okay. So anyway, I think I'm gonna end the video here today now. So bye guys.